If you've tried processing large volumes of data in NA10 or just large number of items, you've probably run into an error like this, where NA10 stopped the execution of a particular node and basically crashed because it ran out of memory. Or maybe it was something like this, where you can't run one isolated node because the data in memory is already too large. In this video, I will show you a couple of really powerful tricks to work around these problems to be able to process much larger volumes of data. I've been leading teams and shipping software for over 15 years, and lately I've been helping companies introduce AI into their processes in order to get more clients, reduce their costs, or simply serve their current clients better. So let's get into the video. So what I've got is an Epify scraper, or in this case, I'm just getting the data set items from that scraper. So this is a LinkedIn job scraper, and I was fetching 2000 items. So that's a fair bit of data. It says storage size 3.2 megabytes, but this is, I think, compressed. And also some scrapers for the same number of results might actually end up with 30 or 50 or 100 megabytes of data. Now, NA10 being run on top of Node is not super memory efficient. And the memory you see here is actually just a fraction of the amount of memory this is actually going to use once all of these items are loaded into memory into your workflow. And so for me, I was able to actually download these 2000 items, but I would still have a lot of trouble actually processing them. And so going, you know, if the workflow was complicated enough and I had a number of nodes that are doing something with these 2000 items, I would still probably run out of memory. On a cloud instance, the, the amount of memory you have available is much lower and this wouldn't even run. So if you try to do something like this, it would probably just crash and give you that error I showed you at the beginning. But then the question is, okay, if we can't really do that, what are the options? So here is what I've tried, what didn't work, what did work and why. Now the approach that did work and what's actually suggested in the documentation, which makes a lot more sense, is to split this out into a sub workflow. And that's really uh, something I found to be a solution to this problem, but also a few other problems I'll, I'll mention along the way. We still have the update loop, but instead of fetching the data and processing the data inside of this workflow, we shift this over to another sub workflow. And the reason this works is because we, when we go into the sub workflow, which looks like this, which is essentially those few nodes I had before, we get the data set items, which is 50 items. But then when we finish with this execution of the sub workflow and we get back, those items are forgotten. 